Do you want to create and control groups of devices? Stay tuned. Hello people and welcome to another episode of Everyday Smart. Today we're going to be showing how to create and control group devices. So the devices that are going to be involved in this automation are the hub, in this case the Habitat Elevation hub, and the Zeus Smart Switches. Now for the devices, you can have different types of devices. In my case, I'm just using switches, but you can have color bulbs, normal bulbs, or smart dimmers but again in my case it's gonna be just the switches so like you know we're gonna be doing this with Habitat and the app that we're gonna be using for this is gonna be groups and scenes so if you do not have it installed yet go to the app built-in app look for the groups and scenes app click it and you're gonna be brought to this page where you can create your first group so let's go ahead and click create new group Give it a name, in my case, I'm going to call it first floor. And like I told you before, you can have bulbs, you can have dimmers, or you can have switches. You can have a combination of them. It doesn't have to be just one, but in my case, I'm going to be using just the switches. So click on select switches for group. And I'm going to be selecting my first floor lights, basically. Dining room light, kitchen light, living room light, and the stairs light. So once you're done selecting your devices, click out of it. So the devices are selected and that's basically it. Just go and click done. Click done again. And as you can see here, you already have that group created. So what this app basically does is that it creates a virtual device that is gonna be controlling all of those devices that you selected. So by controlling a single virtual device, all of those devices that you put into that group are gonna be controlled. So if we go to the devices section, and scroll down to the F, you can see here, now you have this group bulb dimmer device called first floor. So if you click in there, you can turn on, you can turn it off, and it's gonna control all of those four lights that we selected in here. But what I want to do is that I want to put this device into the dashboard that we had created previously. So let's go ahead into the apps section, go into that specific dashboard, the ES control, and let's include that device in the devices that we're using for that dashboard. So let's look for first floor, click update, click done. And now that you have added that device to be used on your dashboard, let's go to the dashboards. So, ES control dashboard. Now we just need to add that device here. So the first thing we need is more space. So let's add more rows to our layout. So one more row, that's it. And now let's click the add button. And now we can see that we have that extra row there. So let's look for our device first floor and this device behaves as a switch so let's look for the template for switch that's it and let's add it here and as usual we want this to take three columns just one row click add how and you know that I like to keep things organized. So what I'm gonna be doing here is that I'm gonna be creating another test towel for this spot that is left. And I'm gonna call that virtual. 
and I want that to take only one column, one row. That's how. And that's it. We are fully organized already. We have our device here. As you can see, my case is already on, but you can click it and that's it. You can see when I clicked it, this device that was one of those devices in the group turn on. So it is being controlled by this virtual device that is controlling the group. And if I turn it off, it's going to turn off. You're not seeing the other devices because they are not added into this dashboard, but the same thing is happening with those other devices. They are turning off and turning on. Well, that's basically it. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. So now that we finished doing this, let's check it out.